finalist uh, for the Selkie Trophy of yeah. the one before. Just how much of an anomaly is he in terms of what he can do? Because it seems like there's no other player in the NHL that has a similar skill set. Uh, I think. A handful of guys over the course there. Bergeron comes to mind, being the Boston's coming to town, and then um, they they are willing to let their offense be less noticed. I don't, they're, everybody knows they're good offensive players, and you can make incredible plays. But I don't think he comes to the rink uh, with as a mindset of showing it. He comes to the rink to help help his team win. So his decisions are always just solid hockey on the right side of the puck, capable of. Of great things offensively, but he prioritizes winning over that. How do you deal with all the intangibles in that? Jim can point to we just won a game seven. We want to avenge last year. All those things. What yeah. are the things that you can point to and say this is why we sh we should be in the bigger believers in this series? Well, I won't spend any time worrying about whether we believe it or not. We're a pretty good team. So that's and then all of the things of the past mean nothing because you can pull an example. Game sevens, they just played seven. They got more miles on than we do. Last year we played game seven, one and one, game one. It just doesn't matter. No, none of it matters. The puck drops. We have to talk for a couple of days, and we need to, because it, it makes people turn their TVs on, and we really need that to happen, and it's fun to talk about it. The puck's going to drop, and none of it matters. It won't have anything to do with the way the first minute of that game goes. Uh, the whistle blows, and nobody's going to get together at the middle ice going, yeah, this is what we've got going. What do you got? This is going to be played. The game's going to get played, and that's it. You guys have a lot of... Toronto tape now, you take that to Goodwill, or what do you do with it? Um, no, it's a, it's a learning experience, right? When you have to spend seven days watching two teams, you got a lot of video on both teams, but you understand both teams a little differently, so you get to watch players a little closer. They're doing the same thing on us, right? They've Their video guys have been cutting video for a week on the night, both teams cutting for the night. Everybody prepares ahead, so we, there are no secrets. We're, we're, we're divisional rivals. We played each other four times. Seven, you know, we've played each other enough. We understand each other. And Matthew talked a little bit about you guys coming out in Carolina. It's not Carolina. Toronto for game one. You yeah. guys came out flying and took yeah. control of that. How do you kind of withstand that? Because you know Boston's going to bring it from the get. Yeah, they, everybody's got potential advantages. They've got a rhythm advantage on us. They just come out there on a high. Um. Yeah, I've been on both sides of that. I've come off game sevens and lost game one and, and come off game seven and won game one. So we have our advantage. We're fairly rested. All of the small bumps and bruises that we had are gone. They'll, they'll be back after the first period tomorrow for both teams. I, I, I don't, uh, I'm not going to spend any time at all. We're going to talk hockey and we're going to talk about ourselves and then that's it. So I know you, uh, you said you had uh, two lineup cards in game five. Yeah. Um, and now, obviously, you kept that top line intact going into this play yeah. through. What, what made you go that route, and what do you think Kachuk and Barkov could do together? It wasn't about them. It was about um, five of Tampa's top six are very fast. Mm -hmm. The f sixth is Kucherov, so he's not bad. Yeah, okay, yeah. So they had this dynamic top six, and we weren't really in a position to necessarily check any one of them. Right, our lines look different. Tarasenko, Reinhardt, and Barkov are f fantastic against a certain kind of line. I thought Lundell was playing great with Verhage and Kachuk, and, and, and they were. Except, but I know that Lusteran and Lundell and Reinhardt can play against the other team's best, and they can take faceoffs on both sides. So that that's all that was. It's a little different opponent. I think we're facing. We'll play with. It. That's a necessary. It's a, it's unfortunate. Everybody's every team. Continues to go on. They're going to have injuries, and they're going to have injuries at some point to important personnel. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a place, a line set that we've used in the past. We ran it in the playoffs last year, so we had some comfort with it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, skated well today. He's at or probably better than I had hoped he would. He's not playing tomorrow night, but we'll list him as day to day. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank you, guys. Today. Thank right. you. Matt, I want to get your thoughts on playing with. Uh, Barkov, obviously something that you really haven't done in, in the two years here. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that this is something new for both of us. I know we played together with Swaggy just for a little bit at the beginning of last year and, and had a lot of success. So um, maybe this is uh, what they're just saving for now, and hopefully we can have some games like we did at the end of Game 5. So it's an important series. Um, obviously, 
Um, it's going to be a tight series, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can be one of the differences. Matthew, when you look back at that Boston series last year, obviously you guys were underdogs. They were best of regular season team. What did that series do for you guys as you made the run of the finals last year and for moving forward through this year? Um, I just think that it, it showed we could beat anybody, and it gave us a lot of confidence no matter who we played, no matter what building we were in, no matter what atmosphere we were in. We have a chance to win, and um, it brought us – super close together that series and um, the effects of that series are still being shown now so um, we know that this is uh, you know a very similar team to last year um, you know a couple different pieces but um, I don't know I think last year there was a lot of high scoring games probably expecting it to be a little bit on the lower scoring side just by uh, judging how both teams like to play and like to have success so um, it's a great challenge for both teams here um, you know we've had a week off they've been playing so um, it's up to us to get up to speed fast tomorrow and try to get in the game early. Kind of along those lines, what do you take away from the four games this year? They were all four good games, they were four close games, but they got all four. What was the difference you think in, in the season series? Yeah, no, they definitely got us in the regular season. Um, I don't know. I think if you ask them, they're probably like, uh, you know, using that for confidence going to this series, and we're like, you know, regular season doesn't matter. We got them in playoffs. So I don't know. We've got to use our playoff experience. Uh, and use that as confidence, but they, you know, they did take it to us this year. But it was they were all close games, so I'm expecting a very good series. They're such an unbelievable team um, in every aspect of the game. They 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 touch everything, and they're they're really good. And special teams are five and five is great. Their goaltending is amazing. Their team defense is really good. They got some star players, so um, I think it's a lot like our team. So when, it should be a great series. When you watched last night, were you hoping for six or seven overtimes? No, 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 no. They've. Uh, I was just happy I went to a game seven, to be honest, uh, try to have them play uh, play another game. But no, at that point, uh, it was late, so I just wanted to go to bed. But I wanted to I wanted to see who won. So um, I think that, you know, with without this coming out too badly, I mean, I think we all knew it was probably going to be Boston, the way that series was going. And I'm sure a lot of people expect that at the beginning of the series. But plus, I guess you never know. But um, I think throughout the whole series, we were probably expecting they were going to come out and win it one way or the other. Yeah, we talked to you on Monday, and it was like, yeah, probably Boston, and then Toronto wins a game, Toronto wins a game. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been sitting here waiting. Mm -hmm. um, how does that, does that affect you guys at all, do you think? No, I, I personally love it. It feels like, it feels like we're just about to start playoffs now. Like, it, that break was, was really good for us, um, really, you know, refreshed, and uh, our mindset's great. Um, even though we didn't know who we were playing, we were fine-tuning our game again and um, kind of looking back at the ba at the past series a little bit and just seeing what worked. And um, it was it was kind of easy for us to to watch the series, knowing that the Leafs and the Bruins play like a little bit, you know, pretty similar, but a little different. But um, we've played against these guys a lot this year, so we know what type of team they are. And I think it was just more just getting some rest and. Rest is so important this time of year. And Paul said no no secrets, right, between the two teams. Either whether it's Toronto or Boston, you guys yeah. know each other. So. Yeah, no, they're they're they are the Bruins are such an unbelievable team and um, we've played against them a lot over the uh, my my almost two years being here, so it's uh, I don't know, it's it's pretty uh, it's gonna be an exciting series. I'm glad we got home ice, um, so we can play in front of our great fans here to start. So um, I know everybody's going to be excited for the game tomorrow, and um, they're coming off short rest. But I think it's almost an advantage for them at the beginning of game one just to get right back into it, where it's up to us, you know, a little bit of a challenge for us to get off to a, a great start at the beginning of game one. But hopefully uh, our rested legs can, can take over at some point, and we can try to take over the game in the series. That was a very emotional and physical series last year. Did that carry the emotion into this regular season in a different way and do you expect it to carry into this series? I mean, all all series all series are physical to a to an extent. I mean I thought the Tampa one or it's our biggest rivalries. I didn't think it was crazy physical. I mean maybe at the start it was, but by the end it wasn't too crazy. Um, you look at the Leafs Boston, I think some of the games are really physical. Last night I didn't really see a ton of physicality. So it it kinda just depends. But um, they're two passionate teams that want to win. So I think when it comes with being competitive and being that passionate about what your profession is and what you want to do, like true competitiveness comes out. And that's when the physicality comes. Are you guys okay, thanks, guys. Where'd you get your haircut? <laughs> Where did I get my? Well, Sasha, the news today: another nomination for the Selkie Trophy, an award you've won before. You're now a finalist three of the last four years. Just 
At this point, what does that kind of honor mean for you in your career? It means a lot, of of course. Uh, every year, I'm just trying to trying to do my job and be as good as possible defensively, offensively, and obviously, like playing in a good team with the good systems and great great teammates. That that helps too. So yeah, obviously, it means a lot. So it's a great thing for sure. Obviously, last year you played them and you guys were the big underdogs. Are you guys the favorites against the Bruins this time? I think it's more for you to decide. Uh, we just. We just play our game. We <clears throat> we know how to how to play. We know how to play hard, and that's that's what we want to do. We have the same mindset as last year. We want to uh, <clears throat> out compete every team we play. So it doesn't matter who we play. We want to be at our best in every game. So uh, it's not not our decision to to decide who's who's favorite and who's not. Mark, that game seven in particular against them last year. Just what did that do for you guys in terms of being able to prove you can do you can beat. The top teams and then being able to continue what you guys have done since that round. Yeah, I mean that game was huge for us, but it all started game game uh, five when we were going to the Boston losing three one. We we had a great game plan uh, how to execute and what what to do on the ice and how to play the right way and it all kind of started then. So five games five six and seven they just showed us pretty much that uh, when we do the things the right way and when we ha play really hard. Everything is possible, and that's what we learned from from those series. And uh, I think it's it's been it's carried over to this year. Oh, it switched up the lines in Game Five, and it looks like you guys are carrying those in. How, how do you like your uh, your new partner, uh, Matthew uh, Tekachuk? I believe it is. Yeah, I guess I have to like it. <laughs> well, he's unreal, unreal player, unreal human being. So it's great to have have that type of line mate and. Uh, he talks a lot about hockey and all the good things, and he he knows the game really well. So it's it's exciting just to be with him and talk about the the shifts and the game and the plays, different plays. You learn so much from him. I mean, he seemed to be such a spark plug in that Boston series last year, correct? At least from our vantage point. In every every series. Okay. He, he, yeah. Oh, sorry. Continue. No, go ahead. Oh, I I just sort of remember talking to you in Sweden at the NHL media tour, and you were talking about last year's getting to that top but not getting over that final hump and how it was going to motivate you this year. How much did that sort of motivate you to get back to this point and, and, and just the, the engine to truly really get to the, the final game this year and, and win it? Yeah, I could definitely see when teams are finally getting in the, in the finals and this close to the, to the ultimate, ultimate trophy and you don't win it. So you're like, no, it's not, I guess it's not our, our thing. but. Uh, for us, it was total opposite. For us, it was just uh, <clears throat> like we got more fuel from that. We wanted to be there again. We want to. We want to be in the finals again, and uh, that's that's how that's why it carried over to this year. We started working almost right away after the season, and everyone came in a great shape, uh, ready ready to take that next step, next step. And uh, we had good regular season, good first round, and now we we want to keep going. What does he do when you guys are on the ice together that maybe changes the way that you can do things or opens things up differently, things like that? Yeah, he's he's one of those players that when you you wanna you wanna get the puck to him because he's gonna make the make the deciding play. He's gonna make those big plays that will open up so much room and so many uh, create create a lot of good chances. So you wanna get the puck to him, obviously, and you basically know where he's gonna be at all times. Uh, in offensive zone, in neutral zone, you know, you know where he's gonna be. So that's why it's uh, easy to play with that type of that type of player. So he makes great plays all all over the ice, and obviously you wanna you want him to have the puck. They're coming off a of game seven overtime, lots of drama. They're gonna have tons of momentum. You guys have been sitting idle for about a week, getting rest, which is key. How do you match the intensity that you know they're gonna come flying in? I think it's a mindset. We just gotta get our minds ready. Obviously, we're we haven't been playing, but I think our practices have been good. We've been trying to push the pace in the practices and not to lose that. And obviously, when you play every other every other day, you you get you have that pace in in you already. And um, of course, for them, they've been playing all the time, and we we've been resting, so it's kind of different different. But I think we'll be fine. We we just we've been working really hard, and our minds are, minds will be ready. Thank you.
Oh, <laughs> oh,